Hey creative friends, welcome to my car. Today you're in my car with me. I'm heading to Walmart. I gotta pick up some groceries that I ordered online. I like doing that. It keeps me from having to go in the store and it's just convenient. And I can bring Snickers with me. Snicker doodle dog. Snickers. He's back there. Anyway, he comes with me. If it's close to lunchtime, he'll get a little goodie, like maybe a little Happy Meal. If it's not, maybe I'll take him through Dairy Queen and he gets a little pop cup. But anyway, I thought I would bring you along. I'm going to get some stuff. I was thinking about this last night. <clears throat> it's going to be a time of the year where, you know, you just kind of like to have a good uh, immunities and things. And so I'm going to make some fire cider this afternoon. I've made a video on that. But if you can go back and watch it, I'll try to link it. I don't know how to do that. I'll try to figure that out. But anyway, it's awesome. And it's got turmeric and ginger and garlic and onions all these good things and unfiltered apple cider vinegar which i'm gonna get some of that and it's just a great um kind of a, just a tonic it's like a tonic that you take every day and it keeps you healthy the other thing i'm gonna make and this is super simple and i'll tell you what is so good is the um cough medicine that is three ingredients it's an alcohol you can use vodka i got grain alcohol um you can use everclear whatever 50 50 of that with molasses like the heavy dark molasses and then you just take some peppermints that's what i needed i got everything else but i didn't have the peppermints and you use like three four or five of them depends on how much pepperminty you want it you just crush those up and you put it all in a jar a mason jar or you know a ball jar or whatever canning jar and shake it up and then you put it in like i'll put it in a little pot with some water and have something to set it up on like um like maybe you can put a canning jar ring down and set the 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 uh, jar on top of that and let the water just kind of simmer a little bit for a couple hours and it really heats it up nice and kind of gets all those uh, things mixed together and the peppermint dissolved but i'll tell you what it is the best cough medicine you ever tried i'm telling you if you're from my generation you might remember a cough medicine called vix formula 44 and it tastes nasty and it was dark and thick and i swear it was like the commercial version of this stuff so this is awesome and i'm gonna make some of that this afternoon also but i um hope you guys are going over and checking out the canuary videos because today's the third one and i was so excited when i did mine yesterday i got a whole bunch of new people com commenting and getting to know m new people and that's fun so if you go over today's day number three look at my list head over there and watch the video and it's really nice when you guys take the time to like and subscribe because i'll tell you what it takes a lot of effort and time and commitment to keep these uh, YouTube channels going. So when we get those folks over that come over and like and subscribe, it just it just makes it so nice. So be sure and do that. And then, oh, today, because of my video yesterday, I used um, the steam counter. And I have done a video in the past on it, but I think what I'll do this afternoon is I'm gonna do a video specifically dedicated to the steam canner why it works how it works and how to use it so i'm going to have that video coming up a bit later okay so i'm almost to walmart i'm going to have to check in tell them what color my car is and what spot <clears throat> i'm in so they can load my groceries and then i will come back to you Okay, here's just a little thing. I just picked up the groceries and I'm telling you what, I love that service because just getting out of the parking lot is like Tetris. I'm serious. It's crazy. I wouldn't even want, the parking lot is jam packed too. It's like Saturday, I guess. Crazy, crazy. People not paying attention to stop signs. So now I'm gonna take Snickers cause it's like 11. We could have ourselves our lunch. So I'm gonna take Snickers and get him his little Happy Meal hamburger. So I will be back with you in a moment. Are you ready for your Happy Meal? Snickers. Do you want a Happy Meal? It's a good boy. That's right. We're waiting. My God, the line here was crazy too. Anyway, Snickers is excited. Okay, there's Snickers so excited waiting for his Happy Meal. He gets a cheeseburger and apple slices. And then this is where we're gonna stop and have our lunch. I just think it's a very cool place. A lot of people stop here and have their lunches. And I just like to sit and today is kind of one of those 
dreary, drizzly, rainy days, and I think it looks very cool out there. So I'm gonna sit here with Snickers, we're gonna have our lunch, then we're gonna head home, and I'm gonna start making a steam canner video, and I'm gonna start crafting. I've got some fun things I'm gonna make. In fact, I'm gonna use some, we cleaned out um, our closets and clothes and stuff, and there's sweatshirts and sweatpants and, and old really soft jammies. And I'm gonna use those and make some kind of like some reusable cleaning cloths out of them. And uh, so that'll be fun. So I'm gonna do that later today. So I've got a busy day, but it's a day that's filled with things I love to do. Okay, you guys, I'm heading home and I go over that big, big green bridge. And this is actually really cool. I wanna take you under the big green bridge. I don't know why. I'm just out kind of <laughs> on my way home and thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool to do. Hang on, I gotta see where I'm, okay. I gotta pull out of here. Okay, and I got my little GoPro on a tripod, so I hope it doesn't fall down. Anyway, <clears throat> when you leave town, you have to go over this big green bridge, and I think it's super cool underneath the big green bridge. It's just very cool. And the bridge is called the McCullough Bridge, by the way. It's just, everybody refers to it as the big green bridge, because it kind of is. Anyway, so we go down to this place. There's a little park down here called Ferry Park. Um, there's going up to the bridge. And actually, this is kind of cool. Down in Ferry Park, I'm not sure if I put a video of it. There's a house down there that from the side by the, the bay actually looks like the front of a ship. And that was the house that belonged to the actress who played the wife of the guy um, that owned Mr. Ed from the old show Mr. Ed. Anyway, it's really cool. I'll try to get a picture of it sometime. But anyway, so there you can see, there's a good look at that big green bridge right there. So going under it, I just want you to see the way those arches are under it. It's kind of cool looking. Hang on, let me come around here. I'm trying to hold my camera and drive. Not bad. We're doing good, Snickers. Snickers. He likes to come with me. Okay, so this is really cool looking. So here we come up. This is actually a neat little walkway. And if you're a geocacher, which I am a geocacher, and I'm going to do a lot more geocaching here because I want to get out and get busy and get, get active, I will be doing more geocaching. But, excuse me, Snickers, see how that is? Now look when you go under it. I just think that's cool. It reminds me of those old mirrors that were like infinity mirrors. Kind of a cool thing underneath the bridge. And then we're going to come out. I don't want these people to think I'm filming them. There we are. So isn't that the coolest thing? And then you're going to come around here and it comes out on the road. I got a little glare. That's okay. Oh, I could do that on slow motion. My GoPro would look cool. But this is just a fun thing. Every once in a while I like to come down there. I don't go down there and sit because sometimes it's a little sketchy, especially at dusk and dawn. But it's a neat thing to look underneath the bridge and there's a geocache down there. There's probably a couple of them now. I haven't done it in so long. But anyway, um, now we come right back out to the main road. So it's neat. It's kind of a fun thing. There we go. A little side sidebar on our trip home our trip to walmart and mcdonald's so much fun all right we'll be back all right i couldn't really leave you hanging now we're going to go back around i already went back around now we're going to go over the big green bridge also known as the mccullough bridge there's actually a whole bunch of these bridges built by the same guy and you can get like a little pamphlet that tells you all the way up and down the oregon coast where you can go and see these McCullough bridges and they're really cool they're very um they're all the same color green and they're all the same style and they're pretty neat looking so let's go over the bridge and then I'm gonna call this video done and I'll upload this and then I'll get to work on my steam canner video but I do like going over this bridge it's cool I go over this every single day to and from work it's a neat bridge And those little pokey spires on it, um, at the south end of town, there's actually a geocache on, they're like little miniature spires of that, down just by a little regular bridge down at the south end of town. I never knew those until I went geocaching. Isn't that cool looking? I think it's cool. Um, but I never knew that until I was geocaching, and there's these spire down there that mimic this bridge, which is very cool. So you go over this bridge, and then you come down 
to the Haynes Inlet and you're gonna go over a little bridge across there so where I live if there was some sort of a we have a big uh, Cascadia subduction zone thing if we had a big earthquake um, we are completely surrounded by bridges so we would not be able to get any sort of help for a long time and that's a problem and that is one of the reasons why so many people in our area are very um, self-sufficient in a way like they build good pantries or there's a lot it's a canning and things like that's really common here it's not something that's like a rarity and um, a lot of people do it and there's a lot of um, a lot of that the kind of thing because honestly if there was an earthquake on the Cascadia subduction zone which is actually supposedly bigger than the San Andreas fault which goes to California um, if it was if there was a bad earthquake we would be really stuck and we would be stuck for quite some time because we're completely surrounded by bridges and so those would be gone and so we'd be kind of have to rely on ourselves so that is one of the reasons why um, I don't know it's one of the reasons why a lot of people around here can and things so anyway now we're gonna go across the Haynes Inlet and then I will be home here up the road further and then um, I'm gonna do my other video so you guys thanks for watching I hope this wasn't boring I thought about doing these little vloggy kind of like adventures and then I thought my life isn't that exciting I mean a trip to Walmart yay but hey I'm gonna try it it's fun and if you guys like it let me know and um, we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching